Hi guys, so those lovely people over at WizKids sent me a box a couple of months ago full of all these lovely Critical Role unpainted figures. And well, if you've seen one of my recent videos, well a few months ago, um, I did a little unboxing and painted a few of the figures, uh, mainly heroes ones. So I thought this time I'm going to paint some of the, uh, the villains. And as you can see, there's lots to choose from, which is awesome. So I'm going to start off with this big guy, uh, mainly because I don't have any sort of, or don't have many figures that are this big, um, especially not sea creature type ones. So yeah, this is what I'm going to start with. So pretty cool looking, and I love the fact that obviously it shows how they can look painted. And I'm going to basically have a go at copying them uh, exactly how they look in the picture. So yeah, you'll be seeing that later on. Obviously I'm going to use some speed paints, and well, and some normal paints. Um, but yeah, I just love the fact that they do come... Um, with pictures on the back showing you how they, they should look. So these minis are pretty awesome. There's definitely lots of um, definition in all of these. And I love the fact that how these are printed. It's kind of like a, a mix between the rubber and the hard plastic. Because the one thing I do worry about the, the, uh, the figures that I 3D print is if you drop them, they do tend to lose the odd arm, leg and sword. But hey-ho. So yeah, these come with these, um, these clear bases. So I'm going to have a go at painting them. Um, I've never painted these kind of bases before. Obviously, I'm not going to prime it or anything because I want the translucent sort of look to still be there. So, yeah, going to chuck on some uh, some army speed paint and, well, hope for the best and see how it dries. And, yeah, as you can see, not too bad at all. We'll come back to them later because I will uh, do a bit more to them. Uh, but for now, yeah, I'm going to paint the figures. And I say, where possible, um, I am going to use the, uh, the army painter speed paints just because obviously it's nice and fast and gives a great result. Although I have just had an email come through today, which is really good news that I am going to be getting the full range of Army Paint Speed Painter. Uh, so yes, yeah, so look out for a video soon where I do an unboxing of that. I know it's been out for a while, but obviously it's the first time I'm going to get it. And yeah, I'm going to be painting loads more minis. So yeah, again, I'm trying to keep to how these look on the back of the, uh, the, the little um, packaging that comes with the figures. Um, yeah, obviously, as you can see, trying to do a bit of blending. Mm, not succeeding all that well. <laughs> uh, although, I do, I am pleased with the end result, because obviously you'll see that I do a little bit more to it, um, just to try and get it sort of looking better. But, um, yes, yeah, so the other thing I do like about the speed paints is, obviously, you can sort of do a variety of coats. Um, this is obviously with a bit of an orange this time. But, yeah, if, if you sort of, like, layer up the colours, you can get quite a lot of uh, a good look to it. And obviously it becomes a darker shade. So yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm going over the whole thing again with the uh, the yellow. Just to help sort of blend in the original colour that was there. And that sort of green that I tried to do like as a hard line and then fade it. Which kind of failed miserably. Uh, but again, the, the speed paints, I just love the way they dry. Um, because of the obviously inconsistency where you get the, um, the darker areas that go into the crevices. The old good old nooks and crannies. Um, and lighter areas on top. So yeah, I'm really pleased basically how they came out. And it didn't take long at all, which is uh, which is pretty awesome. Again, I love these figures, and I don't think I've got any of these sort of figures like 3D printed, because I've got quite a lot of uh, figures that I have 3D printed, uh, but nothing like these. I mean, these seem like a cross between, well, a scorpion, a crab, and, well, my son thinks they look like spiders. And yeah, I have to agree. They are kind of spider-looking. Well, that also remind me uh, of that creature from Alien that comes out of the egg, flies up, and obviously <laughs> impregnates John Hurt. Um, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I mean, this is what I start waffling on about other stuff. But yeah, so I said, nice and simple, nice and easy, and yeah, I think I've got the colour uh, absolutely spot on. Again, I'm using the, uh, the paints from Army Painter. Well, pretty much most of the paints I use are from Army Painter. Um, but this is their D&D &D range paints which are obviously made to, uh, well, to suit all the D&D sort of figures. And I think in this case, uh, it's spot on, as it looks exactly like it does in the picture, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this figure was pretty easy to paint. Uh, not a lot of sort of different colours going on. Uh, usual sort of thing, a few little colours, and then a good old wash. And yeah, anyone who knows me and knows my channel knows I just love washes, because they instantly make something look a whole lot better than just sort of solid block colours. Uh, this really does sort of add a bit of um, bit of shading, bit of texture looking to the things. And yeah, just makes them look pretty awesome. And yeah, again, very simple, very quick, and I'm, I'm pleased with how they look. Um, and I'll definitely be using these in a, an upcoming D&D game. 
So this little chap uh, definitely has a few more sort of colours to it. Uh, pretty cool looking, again, lovely looking figures. Definitely lots of definition in these. The only downside to this one, his um, his spear, well, it should be long and uh, straight. And as you can see, it's a bit wibbly wobbly. I did try and sort of like bend it out several times, but I think because it had been this way in the packaging, it just kept on sort of folding up or bending on itself. Um, but I guess I probably could have, I don't know, put like a, a lighter or a bit of heat to it. Um, and then maybe stretched it out and then maybe it would have dried or, or gone hard back into its original shape. Um, I'm not too sure. So yeah, guys, if you know how to sort of correct this sort of thing in these figures, um, by all means let me know. Because I say this guy's spear should be long and thin. Who are madam? But he's got a bit of a bend to his. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so where, where possible, I will use the uh, the speed paints in my painting, just because I do like the uh, the effect they give, and obviously it just saves on doing a wash afterwards because it obviously has the sort of the, the consistency of the wash already in it, which is pretty cool. So yes, yeah, so I must. Admit, I'm looking forward to my uh, well when the postman rings sometime in the next sort of week or so, uh, with a nice big box of the Army Painter speed paint. So again, yeah, going back to the old uh, washes, I have got quite a variety of washes, different shades, but I've also got different colours, uh, but not too many. I think I've got red, green, and as you can see here, a blue wash, which I think will work well for him, because obviously it'll make his scales show up a bit better. Um, but any of the blue that I put on to like, his um, end of his spear will just make it look like it's been in the water. So yeah, back to the bases. Um, they're now fully dried, and yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with how they come out. The paint's definitely adhered to it really well. And now I'm just going over doing a bit of light dry brushing. Uh, I'm using a couple of paints here. I've got a little bit of uh, a light blue, a very light blue, and then a little bit of white. And again, just dry brushing, hitting all the uh, the high ends. Um, again, I really wasn't too sure how this was going to turn out. But I thought, hey, I'll just give it a go. If it doesn't work out well, then, well, it doesn't work out. Um, but no, it actually worked out really well, and I'm pleased I did try it. Because, yeah, I think it looks like waves. So, yeah, very happy with that. Because um, I want to do a diorama that has got water effects in it. So I now know that I can sort of do a clear resin, paint it with the uh, blue washes or the speed paint, blue speed paints, and then do the dry brushing on top. And, yeah, I'm certainly happy with it. So that's everything painted. And now just a simple case of obviously gluing it all together. So I have still got loads more unpainted um, Critical Role figures to, to paint and I'll be doing sort of some of them in videos and some of them I'll just be doing sort of off camera but then I'm going to make up some more dioramas for all the Critical Role stuff. So yeah, so these figures, obviously, again, I, I haven't quite got OCD but I do like things to look a certain way and all the figures I've got have obviously all got the clear bases. So as much as obviously these figures are absolutely fantastic I don't like the uh, little bases that some of them come on, so this is a case of trying to cut them off without actually cutting too much into the figure, um, and then sort of obviously repainting the underneath and then gluing them on my little bases. So again, this is why this, how these are printed, I'd say not too, too short the material is, but it's kind of like a rubber, uh, which means it's easy to cut, which is pretty cool. So it didn't take too long to cut the bases off, uh, repaint or just paint the the underneath. And then a bit of glue, obviously a bit too much glue there. Um, and then, yeah, just glue them on. And the same with, obviously, the other sort of figures that I've just done. They can all get glued into their place as well. And there we go. So, yeah, I'm really pleased how these came out. And, yeah, I think I didn't do too bad with the old paint job. Um, especially trying to get them, obviously, to look similar to, well, the packaging that came with them. Um, and, yeah, say so the uh, the water bases, I'm, I'm really pleased that I did have a go at doing the uh, the speed paints straight over the clear base and then the uh, little bit of dry brushing as yeah I'm very happy hope you guys enjoyed this uh, I just want to say a quick shout out and thank you to all my patrons as well as the sponsors for helping making it possible for me to sort of keep making these videos and obviously buying the materials I need to build stuff so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this leave comments down below hit the like button all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one okay take care bye for now